So we're looking at invitations. First of all, we need to know the user who is sending this invitation. All right. So we're going to do table, table and um, user um, integer, integer user ID. Okay. We're going to call it sender ID. So the person that clicked the button, whether it's the employer, the employee, uh, job seeker, whatever, we don't care. Once you click that button, it's recorded as your ID will be recorded on the user ID and it's compulsory. Okay. And then we go ahead and create the next field that says table. Table is going to be uh, integer. The invited user, okay. Uh, we can call it receiver ID, receiver user ID, you know, receiver user ID. Since this guy is the sender user ID, All right? So, an invitation, even though, even though somebody comes to a job posting that was made by an organization and they click. To apply for the interview even though that application is going to the job posting it uh, the organization itself we also want to know directly the ID of the person the original person that created that job posting we want to add it here I know it's kind of redundant if you really understand database design this is not an optimal design in terms of um, reducing redundancy no but it's a design that might help us to reduce the code we're gonna write in future Okay, cool. So for next, we, we're going to make it nullable so that if we don't need it tomorrow, we can avoid using it. So table. We're going to need to know which organization is um, receiving the, in, the in, invitation organization or which organization is the in, invitation about organization ID. Okay. And um, as usual, it's going to be nullable. So I'm just going to copy the nullable we did here because I'm lazy. I don't want to type. So we have this nullable here. And then we're gonna, we want to know which job posting integer, which job posting job ID. Okay. So for, from the jobs table, we want to know which of the job postings that uh, it is concerned about. Now, uh, it needs also to be nullable. The reason this three needs to be nullable is that somebody can send an invitation without having to pass through, let's say an employer, for instance, can visit the list of, uh, can visit our website, type PHP, for instance, and list of all the um, job seekers that have PHP as their skill will pull up. So this guy is looking at a list of job seekers. Now, if this guy clicks invite, you see, they are not inviting them to an organization post. They are not inviting them to a job, a certain job. So they just want to invite them for a chat or something, whatever. You understand? Cool. So this is what we have here in an invitation. Now we need to know some status of that invitation. For instance, uh, we need to know whether that invitation has been accepted. All right. Well, if it's accepted, we need to know whether that interview actually held. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also need to know how the interview held. Is it an interview that took place through Skype, uh, through WhatsApp? Uh, what else? Is it an interview that took pay place through um, which other means? So when I see an invitation from somebody, I also need to know how do I get back to this person? So we can say sender, sender contacts, okay? Table, string. So this center must enter a contact, sender contact. So that contact is basically, um, is basically like um, email, or password not email not password now an email of the sender uh what else phone number of the sender you know maybe an office address of the sender so that um, if somebody receives an 
and invite, they can know how to get back to the invite part. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. We're going to make it nullable just in case uh, we need it to be nullable at some point. So we need to know how this interview is going to take place. So remember that the order doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so how, how is this interview going to take place? Table. But sometimes it's good to group things together So because this is how the form is going to look like on the front on the HTML when it is automatically generated. It's going to be in this order. So sometimes we just want to group the fields together. So how is the interview going to hold? Um, I think it's the same thing with what we have here, sender contact. Okay. I think it's the same thing. Um, I think it's the same thing so far. So let's see. Another thing we have to put is uh, so what if the applicant wants to add a little note, all right, or the inviter wants to add a little note? So we can say um, long text. Is it going to be long text? I'm not really sure whether the note is going to be big or short. Maybe an instruction for the, the invitation. Okay. So we're going to have something like uh, um, inviter note or notes. No need for inviter notes. Uh, um, so you know this also serves as the interview record okay so if there's an interview we need to know that this interview has happened let's continue first we're going to figure out a name to call that note so let's say an in um, string to call it interview status interview status so if this inviter has interviewed this person they can um, enter a status uh, which we want to be nullable as usual and we also want to know have it as default as saying not interviewed yet uh, not interviewed interviewed not yet interviewed yet to be interviewed I think yet to be interviewed yet to be interviewed yet pending yet to be interviewed pending interviewed okay so you can see other options are uh, interviewed, interview completed, interview completed, interviewed or whatever. Okay, so this guy has been interviewed. Uh, what else do we want? A note. We can have a note by this interview, invitation note and interview note. Invitation. Invitation notes, interview notes. Invitation notes, interview notes. Interview notes. Invitation notes, interview. What am I writing? Interview notes. Notes. So um, after the interview notes, we need to see an interview review. Okay. Interview review. So let's make it obvious here. Sender interview note or organization interview note. Okay. Sender, sender interview note. Employer interview note. Beautiful. Employer interview note. So this is an employer interview note. It's going to be secret. Okay. Well, first of all, let's make sure it's uh, nullable. So this is a secret note only visible to the employer. All right invitation note okay there's an invitation note here it has to be nullable and then uh, there is an interview interview review post interview review post interview review okay beautiful now we're good we're good we're good okay so just to make sure we're gonna call this job seeker interview review just job seeker post interview review all right um i'm being careful to put these things well so this one is not yet yet to be interviewed 
get to the interview nullable oh this is not gonna be this is just this is nullable then default okay interview status not yet interviewed yet to be interviewed whatever okay so we have um job id interview status invitation notes employer interview notes so interview status interview date uh what's the date of the interview okay so um what's the date of the interview we can see table date time just date okay yeah date time what's the date of the interview date of interview okay it's gonna be nullable okay now we know all these things we're good to go other things might pull up next time right other things might pull up uh, but it's okay for now if something comes up we can just um, construct it so I'm gonna stop here and in the next um, video we do the migrations for jobs